My name's Jeannie Greenlaw, and I am doing what they call drop spindling at Hart Square. And this is how they made yarn before they got all mechanized. And it's a, a very easy process. As a matter of fact, they had children doing drop spindling before they would teach them how to spin on spinning wheels. And uh, it's very easy to learn. And all you do is let the laws of physics work for you. You see, what you do is get the spindle spinning like this and twist travels up the yarn that you've already made and you pinch and then you let go and it puts more twist in there and you've made yarn and the twist is what keeps it from falling apart. It's very relaxing <clears throat> to do. Uh, a common question that's raised uh, when I'm discussing this, showing people how to do it, is how do you uh, get some more onto your yarn or that you've already spun? And it's very simple. All you do is get two real thin layers and put them together like this. Some people would do it a little differently. Each person has their own little ways. That's how I learned. And you just hold it and then let, let the twist travel up. It's very mesmerizing. It's still amazing to me how people way back in prehistory almost figured out how to do this. Of course, they used to wrap it on a stick and it was, wasn't until much later when they discovered they could put a weight onto a stick and let it do some of the work for them. So when you see me spinning here, you'll, you'll see me kind of go like that. It's just to make sure that I don't drop the spindle and that it does make a long yarn that's fairly smooth. So I want to knit something with this later and uh, that that is what they used their yarn for, for clothing uh, different thicknesses for the uh, for socks they would have it much thinner and for sweaters and, and outerwear of course it would be uh, thicker so, if you want to see uh, any more of this, this is one of the many neat things that we do down here. Um, I'll be here every year at uh, Hart Square on the drum cabin porch. And uh, I hope you drop by to see us because uh, it will really be worth the trip. <laughs>